Not Till Tomorrow, Phoebe, written by Julie Zilich, illustrated by Denise Holmes. Phoebe stood beside Mama's bed. She knew she shouldn't wake her up, but she was hungry for pancakes. Honk. Mama, Phoebe said softly. Mama's eyes popped open. Phoebe, what is it? You're honking. And you said we could have pancakes. Mama rubbed her eyes. It's called snoring, Phoebe. And I said we could make pancakes on Friday morning. That's not till tomorrow. Phoebe frowned. Grown-ups always said tomorrow when they didn't want to do something now. Phoebe would have to make her own breakfast. Cereal certainly wasn't pancakes, but she knew how to fix that. She poured a large puddle of maple syrup right on top. She liked maple syrup a lot. Mama came in and did Phoebe's hair. You could use a haircut, Pickle. I'll call and make an appointment. Phoebe remembered the haircut lady. She had a little dog who wore a funny hat. Your haircut will be tomorrow afternoon, Mama told Phoebe while she was getting ready for school. And we'll get some ice cream after, okay? Okay, said Phoebe. She really liked mint chocolate chip, but she didn't like the word tomorrow. At school, everyone gathered around Miss April. Grab an instrument, she sang. It's music time. Hazel chose maracas. Lucy chose the xylophone. And Nikki grabbed the last drum. The only instrument left was the dented old trumpet. Phoebe held it to her lips and honked a noisy note. Sounds like mama, she thought. Good news, said Miss Martha. Tomorrow, some musicians are coming to play their instruments for us. Phoebe frowned. There it was again, tomorrow. And afterwards, we'll have a party with dancing. The kids went bananas. But Phoebe did not go bananas. There was nothing fun about waiting. And that's exactly what you had to do to get to tomorrow. Why wasn't anything fun allowed to happen today? Afternoon circle time cheered Phoebe up a bit. The class sang a counting song in Spanish and played Duck, Duck, Goose. But just when Phoebe got tagged, Goose, Miss April stopped the game. Time for the goodbye song, she sang. We'll play again tomorrow. Phoebe stomped outside. It was finally my turn to be the goose, and I didn't get to run, said Phoebe. That's too bad, said Mama. Maybe you'll get a chance tomorrow. Now let's get you to Grammy's. Tomorrow this, tomorrow that, tomorrow is ruining Phoebe's day. Phoebe looked at her reflection. It stuck out its tongue and crinkled its eyebrows. She wasn't a goose. She was a tiger. Phoebe stepped closer and tried a crocodile face. Finally, she settled on a big brown bear face with lots of teeth. Grr, Phoebe growled as Mama clicked her seatbelt. She bumped Mama's seat with her back paws. Bump, bump. Phoebe, please stop kicking my seat. Tomorrow. Phoebe said in her bare voice. Mama looked at her in the rear view mirror. She looked mad. Tomorrow had been causing trouble for Phoebe all day long, and now tomorrow was getting Phoebe in trouble. She didn't want to cry, but tears don't always listen, not even to bears. When they rounded the corner, Phoebe saw Grammy waiting. Oh, goodness! What's the trouble, we won? said Grammy. She smelled like cookies. Phoebe liked cookies a lot. Phoebe went over to Grammy's big chair. 
and sat on her head with her legs in the air. Now her tears were running up her face. Grammy's piano was on the ceiling, and the hanging plant was sticking straight out of the floor. Grammy came over with cookies. They were stuck to the upside-down plate. That was a neat trick. I wanted to have pancakes and see the haircut lady's dog and eat ice cream and hear the musicians and be the goose. But everyone keeps saying tomorrow. Phoebe frowned and wondered if it looked like a smile. That's hard, said Grammy, not at all fooled by the upside-down frown. I want to take all the tomorrows and throw them away, said Phoebe. I don't think you need to do that, said Grammy. But you can add a secret ingredient to make them into today's. A secret ingredient? asked Phoebe. Grammy knew a lot about baking. Not just cookies, but strawberry pies and other things, too. Yes, you could take a tomorrow and add a good night's sleep to it. When you wake up, it's today. Phoebe turned right side up. And you could add a pillow and a soft blanket and some good dreams. You could sleep all the tomorrows into today's. Yes, said Granny, you could. I won't add honks, though, said Phoebe. Grammy laughed. You mean like your mama? Phoebe nodded. No, said Grammy, you don't need honks. Grammy walked over to her wall of family pictures. Phoebe, do you know what happens to all the todays when you're done with them? No, said Phoebe. Ah, said Grammy, pointing to a picture of Phoebe when she was a baby. They become yesterdays. Phoebe shook her head. She wasn't a baby anymore. I want to sleep the tomorrows into the days, but you can have the yesterdays. I'll add them to my collection, said Grammy. That night, Phoebe lay in her bed with her pillow and her soft blanket. She was ready to try Grammy's recipe. Sweet dreams, said Mama. That's the most important ingredient, said Phoebe. Mama looked puzzled. I don't understand. I'll tell you tomorrow, said Phoebe, closing her eyes.